Hey guys, today we have a tutorial on how to create shareable templates on ClickUp. So if you've ever wanted to share a dashboard or a list, but you didn't know how to, then keep watching this video because I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how you can do this. And I'll also show you guys the process of how it looks on the receiving end when somebody clicks on your shareable link, and then it imports everything from that template onto their own ClickUp workspace. The great thing about sharing these things on ClickUp is that it actually includes all of the automations, all of the statuses, the custom fields, and everything that is attached to that list. So first I'll take you guys through the signup process if you guys don't have a ClickUp account already. It's super simple and it only takes a few minutes. But if you guys already have a ClickUp account, then just go ahead and skip to this time frame down below and that'll take you straight to the tutorial. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So if you guys click on the link down below, you guys are going to get taken to this page right here. We can sign up. It's totally free and you don't even need to put a credit card in. So from here, just enter in your work email. And from there, it's going to ask you to fill out your full name and then choose a password to sign up. You can also go ahead and click on sign up with SSO right here if you want to use a Google account instead. Now from there, you just have to go into your email and then put in the confirmation code. And once you verify, your account will be created. Okay, so now it's going to take you through a quick little questionnaire and it'll only take a minute. So just go ahead and click let's do it. And right here is where you can name your workspace. So for this example, I'll just name it Charlie Chang's. I'll Obviously you can use the name of your company or organization and then just go ahead and click next. Then you can customize your workspace's avatar. So you can drop an image down here or you could just choose a different color. For this example, I'll just choose I'm happy so far. And now it's gonna ask for your favorite color theme. So for this, I'll just click I'm happy so far as well. And then it's gonna ask how many people are you gonna be working with? Again, this stuff doesn't really matter. Just fill it out however you want. And then it's gonna ask you, how do you wanna start using ClickUp? So are you gonna use it for personal use? Are you gonna use it for finance and accounting? For most of you guys, you guys can just put personal use. So I'll just choose that. And then it's gonna ask, how did you hear about us? So for you guys, you guys can put YouTube. And then right here is where you can invite people to your workspace. So if you have any members on your team, then you can enter their emails right here. And then it's gonna ask you if you use any of these apps like Slack or Zapier. That way you can actually integrate it onto your ClickUp workspace. It'll also ask you if you use any of these tools for project management. That way you could just import all of your tasks into ClickUp. And then once that's done, you'll click on the play with ClickUp button right here. If you guys are having trouble with that, just go ahead and refresh the page and then it'll allow you to fill that out again. Now, once that's done, it'll take you to your dashboard and then it'll give you a quick video to watch that'll show you how to use ClickUp. For now, I'll just click on skip video. Okay, so now that we're in our ClickUp list, I'll show you guys how to share a ClickUp template as well as how you can import it onto your own ClickUp workspace. So as you guys can see, we have a few example tasks right here. And if we want, we can even add some automation. So if I click on automate and add an automation, let's just go ahead and choose from a to-do status to in progress. It'll go ahead and write a comment and let's just say test comment and then click create. So basically now every time a status goes from to do to in progress like so, that's basically going to add the comment to the task. And as you guys can see right here, it commented it right away. Now in order to create a shareable template, what you're gonna wanna do is go to your list or your doc or whatever it is that you wanna share. It even works for folders and workspaces. Just go ahead and click on the three dots right here for the settings. And then right here where it says templates, just go ahead and click on that and then click on save as template. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and name the template. So for example, let's call this list template. And right here is where you can choose to share with only yourself or everyone on your workspace, including guests. For me, I'll just choose only me, but this doesn't really matter. This will just hide it from everybody else in my workspace. And then this button right here is what's going to allow you to create a shareable template. So we'll go ahead and turn this on right here. And what's cool is that you have a bunch of different import options. So you can have the option to import everything. This includes automation, statuses, custom fields, everything, or you can go ahead and customize the included items. And it gives me a bunch of things that I can include and not include inside of the shareable link. So for this example, let's just choose to import everything and then click on save. Now it's going to tell me in the bottom left hand corner that it's been created. And in order to access this, I'll just go right back to where the settings is. I'll go to templates and then click on browse. And once I'm there, as you guys can see, the list template is right here. So once I go ahead and click on that, it'll go ahead and show me all of the different things that it includes. So it includes one status group. So as you guys can see, it only had three different statuses. It also includes four different view types. So it had a list view, a calendar view, and more. And then the one automation that we created of whenever it changes the status, it'll go ahead and add a comment. So now what I could do is go ahead and click on the share button right here. And then now is where I can see the link. So if I go ahead and copy this link right here, and if I open up a new tab and paste it in, you guys can see that it gives me this menu right here where I can choose which workspace it goes to. This is obviously if you're in multiple workspaces on your ClickUp account. And then down here, you can choose a different name. So for this one, we'll just put list template copy. And then from here, you could choose a space and a form 
folder. So I'll go ahead and choose the team space and then click on use template right here. Now, as you guys can see, it made the list and it's right here. And if I go ahead and click into it, you'll see that it includes everything that was in that template. So it has the task one that I put into the in progress. And as you guys can see, if I go to automation right here, you guys can see that the automation is in fact turned on for this list. So this is super helpful if you have two different workspaces and you wanna copy over a list and you want it to include all of the automations, all the custom fields, the lists, all of the different tasks and everything that's included in them. And yeah, that's pretty much it for how you can share things like lists, folders, and workspaces within your ClickUp. Again, we'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out ClickUp if you guys don't have an account already. And if you guys are new to ClickUp and you wanna learn more about how to use it, we have a ton of videos that'll teach you how to create employee dashboards, as well as how you can create content calendars on there for social media. That's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. Thank you guys so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.